Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoyed this video, please become a wedding cake maker, but instead of writing congratulations in icing, simply write, subscribe to Modest Pelican or every guest at this wedding will be deported, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. So I wake up on my expensive yacht. I then head to the bathroom so I can have a quick shower on my yacht. Did I mention I own a yacht? It cost millions, so I bring it up frequently. I also have a dollar sign tattoo on my chest so that the women I pretend to sleep with know I'm the kind of guy who plays Minecraft on hardcore mode with the lights off. Well dimmed, but still. Let's go meet the boys 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 and also some of the non-boys, also known as girls. They tell me they're slipping into something more comfortable, which I can only assume is tracksuit pants or a doona suit or something, but just wow. This is inappropriate content for my educational Christian music YouTube channel. In fact, they could take a leaf out of Stealtho Robbo's book. They put on shirts so that we can all maintain a shred of purity, and then Robbo shoots me with a shotgun for simping. No one calls me a simp, so I gun him down as he leaves the clothing store. I then send a message to my mum saying that I hate her, a break up with my girlfriend of five years, and kick my female cat in the jaw to further prove your boy is no simp. Okay, well maybe I'd simp a little bit for my mate Stealth Omato, but simping amongst your bros is extremely progressive, which is what we're all about here. Robbo wants to pick up his four-wheel drive, so I fly us over to his mansion. In war zones, commercial pilots have to perform special combat landings, where they descend in a rushed corkscrew fashion to avoid being shot down by RPGs. I decide to try this out, and it goes pretty well. Mato then has to choose to either ride with me or with Sexy Robbie. And he sure does make his bed, so I hope he's ready to sleep in it. You think you know someone, and then they ditch you to simp your other male friend, dubiously posing as a female in an online game. All this simping is honestly getting quite confusing, let's move forward. Fortunately, my car is quite a lot faster, so I beat them to the casino and set up a little trap. It's never not funny for me destroying Robbie's four-wheel drive because it's his pride and joy. Plus, he always forgets how to make insurance claims and ends up with nothing to drive. With Maddie and Kayla looking ready for Sunday service, we get ready to spin the big wheel. The grand prize today is a Deluxo, and I've never actually won anything good from this, so today could be my moment. I spin expecting to get some RP or a t-shirt that says your YouTube channel is trash or something, but no, I get the car which I'm extremely pleased about. Mato spins and almost gets the car, but instead it lands on RP, which is the equivalent of expecting a little baby boy or girl, but instead having a miscarriage. Kayla's spin lands on clothing, and I think I speak for my entire community when I say I sure hope it's a pair of pants. All right, so this is my Deluxo, and it might not look like much, but I'm told it has a little trick up its sleeve. I love that this car released years ago and I'm acting like I'm uncovering some new secret vehicle, but yeah, this little Mamazito flies. It's cool how it comes looking like the car from Back to the Future as well. I drive near Robbie, and he explodes me with a rocket launcher. Dude, that's so lame. Who goes around destroying their friend's personal vehicles? Anyway, it's a sick vehicle and would have cost me over $4 million to buy, so a huge win, but it doesn't come with any upgrades. To realize the true potential, I need to add homing missiles, and to add homing missiles, I need to either have a special workshop which costs $1 million, or a vehicle workshop in a mobile operation center or Avenger that each cost a lot of cash. Look, in summary, I'm sort of regretting buying the yacht I was bragging about earlier. This guy from last video was actually nice enough to point out my poor financial decisions. WTF this clown has a yacht and no companies is the reason of recession. To add to our troubles, Robbo has decided he is going to aggressively hunt me down because I exploded his baby. Despite his hostility, it's time to make some dough. 
Mato has a $9,000 bounty on him and very kindly says I can kill him and take it. As I am mentally preparing to literally trade a human life for cash, Kayla steals the kill. This is why you can't trust the Whammon. They'll entice you with lingerie and then when you relax, they'll take your money and then shoot all of your bros in the head. I know I'm stereotyping here, but facts. All women will eventually shoot your friends and you in the head with a gun. All females are literally mass murderers. I may be speaking a little bit out of jealousy here as they both have fully upgraded deluxos and I don't, but seriously, I'd recommend wearing a Kevlar vest from the first date onwards, fellas. All right, our next money-making scheme is some good old-fashioned assassinations. Right up Thick Man's Alley. Mato jumps in with me as he'll need to be my gunman because the whole no rockets dilemma. We've got a flying car yet are still shooting a submachine gun out the window. It's a truly strange operation. I don't really know what comes over me, but I then accidentally get out of the car mid chase, falling three or four meters to the ground. A lesser man would have broken bones, but I'm fine. Mato then glides off into the distance as if this was a metaphor for life. Floating forwards with no control and no direction. His eyes wide shut, hard but flaccid, eating but hungry. Yeah, what? Anyway, we pass the mission and pocket a cool $20,000. I think I speak for both of us when I say, Mato and my shoulders are sore from carrying the team. If we hadn't put a few shots on that heavily armored SUV and then tactically pulled away, I don't think any of the other four targets would have gone down. The best thing about having the Deluxo is now when I go to my office, I can land on the helipad on the top of the building. I know technically I'm not a helicopter, but it's 2020, read a book. It's time for employee performance reviews and up first is the big man himself. He makes me wait as he drinks a glass of whiskey meters away, which is disrespectful, but also very alpha. I let him know that I'm still harboring some negative feelings after he chose to commute with Robbo and not me earlier. However, it was honorable offering to sacrifice himself so I could take the $9,000 bounty. Unfortunately, due to the recent epidemic and necessary staff cuts, I'll be putting him on probation until further notice. I guess I've just self-declared myself as the boss, but I do have a BBC, a big black chair, so I mean no one can argue with that logic. Mato then wants to set up a funny moment where he falls past the window while I'm sitting here. Unfortunately, he jumps past the wrong window and so it looks like I'm just sitting here enjoying the outlook. Quality content. All right, we need to bring in big money and fast. Rockstar have a promotion where if you complete 10 daily challenges, you get $1 million. You can only do three a day, so damn them and their effective marketing techniques. The first daily challenge is to mod my car, so I paint it red. I like the color red because it implies I'm a dangerous guy and girls love danger, almost as much as they love murdering all of the homies. The second challenge is to escape a three-star wanted level. Again, a pretty easy one, except as well as having Robbie continually try to kill me, Mato is also pretty disgruntled after his performance review. He keeps trying to burn me alive. The third challenge is completing a casino heist, and look, it takes our group about 11 years to finish them, so I think I'll hard pass on that one, Chief. I feel like the crew needs a little smoko break, so we decide to eat some peyote plants and turn into animals. I turn into an eagle, which is frankly insulting, as the only option should be pelicans. I then proceed to fly into a wall and immediately die upon impact. We eat some more plants, and this time I become a wolf. Mato becomes a rabbit and he kinda thick though, no joke. I maul some dodgy malakas for fun and then one of them starts kicking me and Mato doesn't help so I have to take on a 2v1. As a bunny rabbit, the only thing he can do is scratch his tiny ears, aka nothing. This is an accurate representation of us playing Warzone together. Robbo then announces he's coming over to hunt us all down. I try to flee but forget everything I know about road safety and get cleaned up. Anyway, I don't think this is a very balanced hunt, but at least Robbo's having a good time, I guess. A girl on guy pretending to be girl action. It simply doesn't get any hotter. He then pulls out a shotgun, which is kind of cheap, and slays Maddie. Then he comes after me as he's still mad, especially because we still haven't told him how to make an insurance claim. Break time's over, we need cash. 
We make a truce, but then as he approaches my vehicle, he pulls out a pump action shotgun, but like a moped angel, a Razor Claw 2000 knocks Robbo over, giving me just enough time to take him out. He's still after me. You've got to admire the passion. We make the stunning and brave switch to a public session so we can sell some cargo. I've got to say, even without the rockets, the Deluxo sure does make traversing Los Santos easy. Mato says that he'll drive the van as he has experience abducting, I mean driving vans for whatever reason normal people drive vans for. Let's be honest though, if you own a van, you've probably abducted at least one person, otherwise what's the point? This server is starting to get a little cracked, but no one is destroying us for some reason, so we'll take that W. And now we have to sell the stolen cargo, and this time at least we have an armoured truck. Robbo says he's coming in hot to destroy us all, and so we prepare for his raid as we need to ensure the deliveries go smoothly. He then rides in on a motorbike and shoots a quarter of a submachine gun mag into three inches of steel armour plating, and then crashes into some traffic. This man is the Terminator, I swear to god. Delivery complete and $100,000 richer, so finally we're making some actual cash. All of a sudden, some shots get fired, a few players die, and the server goes full-blown GTA Online. You can't stay alive for more than a few moments, and the frames drop lower than Robbo's standards. I just start throwing explosives everywhere to help fuel the chaos, because I guess that's just my nature. We then decide we best escape by playing some of the random mini-games Rockstar has. There's actually so many games. First up, we try our hand at a little aerial combat. Even here, Robbo is out to get solely me. I guess everyone has a trigger, and his trigger is that four-wheel drive, my god. We then play some horror-style game where we took turns hunting each other with shotguns. As the player being hunted, you could however beat the guy with the shotgun to death with a torch, which really turned the tables. All these mini-games were fun and made us some cash, but next episode we've really got to step up the money making as I want to buy a facility and most of all, get rockets for my Deluxo. I do modify it a little bit just for aesthetics and I do love how I can fly back to my yacht at the end of the day. It feels, dare I say, wholesome. Thanks for watching you absolute legends and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy. Thank you